If the universe is filled with trillions of stars, and stars shine brighter than anything we know, then here's a question. Why isn't the night sky blazing with light? Why in a universe packed with endless suns does space look like an endless sea of black? In this video, we're diving into a mystery that puzzled scientists for centuries, and its answer will change how you see the universe forever. In 1923, a German astronomer named Heinrich Wilhelm Olbers asked the same question. If the universe is infinite, filled with stars in every direction, then why isn't the sky as bright as the sun, day and night? This puzzle became known as Olbers' paradox. If the cosmos were truly endless, every single point in the sky should eventually land on a star. The night sky should be glowing like daylight, not sprinkled with a few distant dots, but that's not what we see. Instead, we see darkness. And in that darkness lies one of the most beautiful truths about the universe. In 1929, astronomer Edwin Hubble made a discovery that shattered everything we thought we knew. He noticed that light from distant galaxies was slightly red, shifted, stretched toward the red end of the spectrum. That meant those galaxies were moving away from us. And not just a few, everywhere he looked, the universe was expanding. This was the key. The universe wasn't static, it was growing. And that meant light from many stars was being stretched, dimmed, and spread out over time until it faded into invisibility. So, if the universe is expanding, it means there are stars whose light hasn't reached us yet, and maybe never will. Imagine the universe as a loaf of rising bread. Every galaxy is a raisin, drifting farther apart as the dough expands. The faster it stretches, the farther those galaxies move, and beyond a certain distance, space expands faster than light can travel. That means their light will never reach us. Those stars still shine, but their glow is lost beyond the cosmic horizon. That's why the night sky is dark. Not because there's no light, but because most of it can't reach us anymore. But what about the beginning? The Big Bang. If everything started with a brilliant explosion of energy, shouldn't the sky still glow from that ancient flash? Turns out, it does. In 1962, two scientists, Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson, were working on a radio telescope when they kept hearing strange static. No matter where they pointed the antenna, the noise was there. They even cleaned out bird droppings thinking that was the problem, but the sound wouldn't go away. What they'd actually discovered was the afterglow of the Big Bang, faint microwave radiation still echoing across the cosmos. We can't see it with our eyes because the light has been stretched by billions of years of expansion, turning into invisible microwaves, but it's there. The universe still glows, we just can't see it. So in truth, space isn't black at all, it's filled with light, ancient stretched faded light that our eyes aren't designed to see. Every inch of that darkness is actually glowing with the faint remnants of creation. Our universe is like a painting that's been stretched so far, its colors turned invisible. If our eyes could detect microwave radiation, the sky would be blazing white with energy, a relic from the moment time began. Here's the mind-bending part. The universe is still expanding. Galaxies are drifting farther away every second. Eventually, billions of years from now, the light from even nearby galaxies will stretch beyond visible wavelengths. Future civilizations might look up and see nothing but blackness. No stars, no galaxies, no cosmic clues of where they came from. They'll live in an apparently empty universe. The stars we see tonight are a cosmic privilege, a glimpse of the universe before it fades into darkness forever. So the next time you look up at the night sky and see darkness, remember, you're not looking into emptiness, you're looking into the edge of time itself. Every shadow, every black patch between the stars is filled with invisible light, stretched by the universe's heartbeat. Because space isn't dark, it's just too big, too fast, and too old for our eyes to see its glow. If you enjoyed exploring this cosmic mystery, like this video, subscribe to Life and Nature Matters, and tap the bell so you never miss the next story about the wonders of our universe.